know you see me do these for Christmas. They're those sifters. It seems I find these every, almost seven out of ten times that I go out. Don't buy all of them. Sometimes they're too, a little too new for me. So right now I think I want to put my crank standing up. And I am just going to go ahead and fill this with some green, some um, more foam. And I was debating if I was going to do this uh, regular or just a fall. And I think I'm really going to turn this one into a fall design. This is what happens when you put your crank up. So I'm going to have to put my crank on the side because of my foam that I want to put in there. Unless I do it. Okay. I am going to put it up. I'm just going to do a little a little cut at the top here. So I'm going to measure this. And it, it's not going to fit all the way in. I'm going to have to to trim this piece a little bit so like that and I have to trim the corner. I'm sorry you guys so right now I just cut the edges and now I'm just making a slit here to go ahead and uh, put my sifter in here just use this as well I better be safe I'm gonna put it on the side The struggles are real, you guys. Okay, so now I have like a slit and I'm gonna try it. I don't wanna break it either. It's a tight fit in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and I'll be right back. So it took a little bit more effort than I was thinking, but I did do a slit, so now I'll be able to go ahead and slide this right in here. So now I have my foam. And like my other arrangement, I'm going to go ahead and add some Spanish moss as a filler at the bottom. You don't want to see that ugly foam. And with my U-pins, I'm going to go ahead and put those in. And... This is what we used to call the floral haircut. You just want to go ahead and cut some of that crazy moss if you need to. This one has a piece of wood in it. And then I'm just going to start filling up my arrangement. So at Walmart, they have these big, beautiful sunflowers. But when your flower is bigger than your pot, it is not a good idea to use it. Um, Dollar Tree has some really beautiful sunflowers, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. And as you notice, they're a little bit smaller than that. So we're going to place the flowers first, and then we're going to work our way with some greenery. Um, I did purchase some of this greenery with some little um, acorns and berries in it, and I'm going to go ahead and use those. So. You always want to determine how you're going to put your uh, arrangement. And I think facing this way, so this will be my face of my arrangement. So you always want to put a taller flower at the top and the smaller ones around. And you got to have a height for it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cut. Oh, I hate that when there's one missing. And I look too. So I'm going to go ahead and cut most of these flowers off, and I think I'm going to leave two on there. And I'm going to tell you why. So I want, well you can't really see all the way, so we'll back up. So I want my focal point to be this tall flower, but you always want the other one in front to be a little shorter. If it is not short enough, pop the top off, 
cut it. I don't think it's going to be about there. And pop it back on. Like I said, if it doesn't stay, make sure you put a little crazy glue. I mean, a little glue and it'll stay. Now see, now you have two dimension. And don't forget to bend those heads so they can be facing the arrangement. So because um, it's kind of tall, I'm probably going to go in pretty deep. That's exactly what I want to do. I'm going to go up a little bit. Okay. So now I have flower one and two, and then you just got to play around and see where you want to put the rest of your flowers. I always like to put one here. Cut this down a little bit. Remember to play with your flowers. I'm going to add one here in the lower point. Okay. And then if you want to, you can have one that goes down. Like so. A little bit off of the arrangement. I don't know. You gotta at least see this one. Okay, let me see. Here, yeah, at a lower point instead. So we're gonna put this one a little lower and stick it out a little bit. Right there. And you're always gonna need one in the back to do your filler. We're going to put one in the back. And if we need to fill more later on, we can add more. So now, what you want to do is you want to add some of your filler. You want to fill behind your your uh, tallest sunflower. Then you're gonna keep filling up. Don't forget, I'm doing this backwards too, so. I'm going to add one here in the front. You just want to keep adding greenery so it adds into your floral design. So I'm going to keep working at this. So I went ahead and used um, one of the Dollar Tree plus one branch of the other. I went ahead and used some of these of Walmart, the lighter one, because I wanted this to be kind of like going into fall, not all fall. So this is the back. As you can tell, it's all covered. And I used one of some of the greenery with the beads, um, uh, like a filler. And there is my arrangement. I have my tall flower, and then I just filled in with some leaves. And then I added one of the buffalo print bows that I made in simple arrangement and this could go from now until Thanksgiving I think it will fit perfectly in any kitchen that is from the sifter that I purchased today